Welcome to my build of a Piper Cherokee, a kit supplied by DB Sport & Scale in the UK. Um, I've been fitting out the uh, electronics, um, the nose, uh, nose gear, uh, the, the steering uh, suspension for the front wheel and trimming the cowl. Um, and also doing the, uh, the connecting rods for the, the rudder and the uh, um, elevator at the, at the back. And I'm really pleased with how it's gone. Um, the, uh, the linkages are um, as smooth as I could get them. They're, they're more or less a, a straight line right down to the back. Um, you can see here at the rear I've done a, a very acute angle to try and limit any bend or anything in the, uh, in the linkage itself. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, the servos aren't screwed in yet. Their final position will be adjusted a little bit probably. Um, but I'm going to take all this off for when I, uh, for when I cover it. Um, the receiver I'm just going to stick in with some sticky Velcro, um, which I've found really, really good in the past, so you can take it out if need be without much problem. Um, and I'll just tack on the, the aerials at 90 degrees um, with perhaps a dab of hot glue or something. Um, this is the battery platform, which we'll see when we turn over because the battery is going to be um, accessed from the top side by removing the, the, uh, the canopy pod that you'll have seen in, a, uh, in the fuselage video, hopefully. Um, electronic speed controller on the outside in this chute. Um, being on the outside, it will benefit from cooling, but also there's holes in the front of the cowl um, and a hole, uh, sort of a gap in the back where the airflow goes over the motor and then over to the, the um, speed controller. So that'll be quite nice for, for cooling. Um, just a little bit about the, the nose gear. Um, originally this was supplied with um, just a, a kind of a single uh, spring leg and um, a, a nitro engine mount. Well, I'm, I'm doing electric so I didn't really want to use, or couldn't use the, the, uh, the engine mount. But just having a, it was non-steerable and I just thought on a model of this scale quality, I mean it's a lovely, it's a lovely kit, it's gone together lovely, it's got lovely lines, you know, I really like it. But not to have a steering wheel just seems crazy, totally inadequate. Um, so I've put in this uh, wheel, um, which you can see is uh, a little bit stronger, a little bit uh, more durable um, but it has added to the weight just a little bit um, but it is steerable and it, and it will last um, and the uh, the mount for the the, the wheel is actually uh, screwed and bolted onto the uh, the firewall um, under the uh, motor mount I've had to I've, I've bought this quite nice lightweight motor mount which I could put the the motor onto but I still needed a little bit of um a step up, so I've used some some ply. I think this is about 15 mil ply, I, I, marine ply. Uh, I can't remember exactly. Um, and I've um, cut it out into kind of a U shape to make it as light as possible, but also um, to allow this to to fit on unhindered. Obviously, the wires will tack down. I need to bolt this on properly, and also I need to put a couple of washers on the left side just to give it that um, three degree, two to three degree kick over to the right. But all this will come off um, ready for, for covering. So, okay, so that's the underside. Um, if we turn over, um, you can see uh, I've built the, uh, just a platform here, tried to make it as simple and as light as possible um, for the battery. I've extended the lead a little bit on the um, um, speed control so I can plug it in and then this will just slide up into the nose and hopefully I can mount it wherever need be. Um, it'll go back. The central gravity is uh, roughly about here. Uh, there was a mark but I think, oh no sorry, the central gravity is here. Um, so it can go back onto the centre of gravity or I can push it right up front if I need a little bit of extra weight which I don't think I will need. I think it will probably be 
I think it'll probably sit right back here, but we'll see. And there's also room for another strap um, where if it is forward it can be strapped down. Or I could just lightly strap around the, the cables just to double um, security if you like, just to stop it suddenly sliding forward. Um, or even it'll grip it, stop it going back. So I'm really pleased with this. Um, and uh, there's a couple of just minor things I've got to do and then I'm going to take all the electronics back out again and it will be time to start covering the fuselage um, which will be quite exciting.